one of the things that I think attracts good researchers to the communications field is the aesthetic quality of information theory. Information theory expresses in, in very simple looking terms what is possible to communicate, what, what is possible to do with information, with data. So the, the theory itself is a very beautiful theory. The interesting thing though about the theory is not only is its aesthetic qualities, but that it applies to real world problems quite directly. Gerhard Kramer is one of the world's leading researchers in the fields of information theory and communications engineering. He is concerned with nearly all types of network coding for both fixed line and wireless data transmission. In the United States, this German-Canadian scientist also worked for Bell Labs, one of the world's most important telecommunications research centers. At the TUM, Munich's Technical University, Kramer plans to strengthen the international links of the Chair of Communications Technology. Founded over 100 years ago, this chair has a long tradition of excellence. Gerhard Kramer is continuing our university's decade-long tradition of excellence in communications engineering and information technology. His expertise in fundamental questions of coding theory is fantastic, and he will now bring it to bear on biosciences and particularly on genetics. Information theory has many different applications. With his PhD students, he is investigating the most effective methods for wireless data transmission. The problem is that wireless signals spread out in different directions and are subject to all kinds of interference. This means that developing reliable coding methods for signal transmission is a very complex process. Theoretical work always takes time. You can't force new research results, they need time to develop. And this is why I find it very useful to work on several problems simultaneously, because you can always put a problem to one side. And my university position here in Germany gives me a little more leeway to try out and test yet more ideas. One of Karma's ideas is to improve data transmission between transmitter and receiver by putting a further node between them. Such relays are being continually developed and refined for use in wireless data transmission. The experimental relay is equipped with intelligent codes, which automatically judge the strength of the signal to decide whether it should be relayed further or completely decoded for the receiver. The transmitter and receiver have been activated. The relay can now be initialized. The experiment demonstrates that data coding via relays makes it possible to achieve higher transmission rates. In practice, how the signal transmission is improved depends on the location of the node. If the relay is close to the source, then what the relay should do is uh, try to understand completely what the source is sending. We, we call this, in the technical terms, we call this decode, a decode forward algorithm. That means the relay uh, decodes completely the message that the source is sending. On the other hand, if the relay is close to the destination, the best thing for the relay to do in this case is not to decode the signal, but simply to pass on its observations, its received signal directly to the destination. Information theory is in part about exploring boundaries. For instance, to find out how much data can be transmitted via satellite. The German Aerospace Center conducts a simulation in which two ground stations are set to exchange data via satellite. The idea is that the satellite receives messages from both stations, then sends a combined signal including both messages back to the two stations simultaneously. On the ground, each station finally filters out the message intended for it. This speeds up the transfer of information. In order to calculate the coding of the combined signal, you need information theory. Karma is developing new theories for combining signals in mobile communication systems. 
Ich würde es sehr I would be really pleased if the theoretical results could actually be implemented. That really interests me. Sehr interessiert. What these research results would bring for you are that you would experience television, videos, and also downloading information from the internet in a much more uniform fashion. For instance, if you're using your smartphone, you would have the same quality of service irrespective of where you are. The huge an ever-increasing amount of digital communication means networks could soon reach their limits. Gerhard Kramer is passionate about his work to push back these limits ever further.